talking about sensitive, mature skin, and that is definitely what I'm dealing with today. I have absolutely not a stitch of makeup on my face because my skin is so sensitive and I'm having an eczema, an eczema outburst, I would call it. So I can't put anything on my face in terms of makeup. I just, I'm not gonna put a stitch of anything on my face. But I wanna talk about some of the skincare uh, strategies that I've been using uh, to help me when I'm dealing with this, any kind of an eczema outburst. My skin is having a rebellion. Um, one of the things that I use is the um, Origins Hello Calm. I really love this stuff. It's relatively new. Um, it's called Hello Calm and it's a relaxing and hydrating face mask with cannabis sativa seed oil. And I'm seeing more and more products with cannabis uh, oil, hemp seed oil, that sort of stuff. And I get it, it's pretty trendy, but it is very calming uh, to the skin, you know. And I have this really super sensitive skin that has these issues sometimes, like today, where I can't put anything on my face, like anything except for my regular skincare routine. So I'm gonna show you if you have any of these issues or if you've worked with a product that has given you sensitivity and you just need to give your skin like some yoga and a break for a few days or day after trying something that irritates you, um, this may help you as well. This face mask is amazing. It's only $28. It's from Origins and you get 2.5 ounces and like I said, it has the cannabis sativa and it has this really nice herbal smell to it. And I love putting this on my skin after I wash it and you know, just soaking in the bath. It is so relaxing and it's really calming and soothing to the skin and it smells amazing. It's like yoga in a tube, uh, just meditation in a tube for your face. And it won't bother, irritate your skin. It really calms things down. It smells amazing. So this is one of the things that I use when my skin has an outburst. Um, another thing that I use that is, this one's almost gone. I do have a couple of backups of this because I use this religiously after I cleanse my face. Um, it's the Ernal Laszlo um, Hydrophil Lotion. And it is the skin supplement, Hydrophil Skin Supplement. And I believe this retails for $58 and it is 6.8 ounces of product. So that's really not that bad. It has a sort of sticky, um, mucusy sort of um, texture to it though that may take some getting used to at first if you're used to using like a, a very liquidy toner or uh, essence. Um, it's a little bit mucin-y. Um, but this is really amazing. After I cleanse my skin, I go over it with um, a, a cat and round with this Hydrophil skin supplement. And it really just, again, another step in the routine to just help calm things down when everything is just going nuts on my skin. I, it wouldn't be my video if I didn't drop something in it. Um, I would have done these steps in order, but I don't have... A cleanser cleanser per se that I love so much that you know so calming to the skin I think I'm still sort of finding that perfect thing I have some things that don't do any harm but I can't say that I have anything that I put it on my face and you know it just feels like ah oh, you know like with the um, the hello calm mask from origins so what I do have in the vein of cleaning and you can see this has been all in my shower and everything is the Dermalogica uh, daily microfoliant there we go and it's just um, a powder um, that you mix with water in the shower when you're washing your face and you can even you can mix it with a skin cleanser too or like a gel or you know a liquid cleanser if you want to and it's not a chem it's not a physical exfoliant it's not something that you have to buff the life out of your skin with or anything it actually has an enzyme um, in the powder that um, really is an effective cleanser and you can leave it on sort of as a mask and you can put less water if you want it to you know have a little bit more texture to it to be a little bit more abrasive but it's a very fine powder so um, it is something that you can use every day and you can use it alone or you can mix it with your cleanser when my skin is very very um, agitated like it is right now I'll go ahead and just use it with a little water and cleanse my face that way so in terms of cleansers, the 
Dermalogica microfolia is definitely, um, you know, the only one that I can just give such glowing praise for that it does not irritate skin. Um, if I were going to wear some makeup today, I would have worn the Dr. Jart BB Cream, um, which has an SPF of 50. No, 45, SPF 45. If I were gonna wear any kind of makeup on my face to be a tenant moisturizer or whatever, I would have worn this, um, but I am not gonna wear it because, you know, why? Um, it actually has very nice coverage though. If I were doing something that, you know, required me to, you know, look a little better than I'm looking, then I would have gone ahead and, and used it because it, it doesn't irritate skin or anything. But I just figure my pores could use a rest um, and my life could use a rest from just putting anything on my face at all when, you know, eczema is having its way with me. Um, so the Dr. Jart BB Cream is highly recommended. And um, the only thing about it is, you know, it, it has... A, a very dreadful shade range. There is no shade range with this. Um, this is, you know, and it also has a gray undertone. And, you know, if you are light to medium skin tone, um, you know, something like this could work. I'm not aware that they've come out with any deeper shades. Um, this is just something that I use on a regular basis for a no makeup makeup look. And, you know, it helps protect the skin and it's really kind to my sensitive, mature skin. So if I were going to wear something, that's what I would wear. Um, I love Peach and Lily and they have a serum. Ooh, I got lighting issues. The serum is called Glass Skin. And um, it has peach extract and peptide complex in it. It says that it's translucent and luminous and also a matching moisturizer. It is the Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream, and I just use these together. After I cleanse my face, or double cleanse, if, I'm, if I am actually wearing some product, I'll use the glass skin, let that soak in, and then I use this on top. And there will be no irritation whatsoever. It's very gentle. It's been very kind to my eczema-prone skin, and I love those two products. And these each retail for $39. That's, it's very reasonable. The, um, the ingredients are just, they're top notch. I mean, really, really great, you know, top of the line ingredients without lots of filler and BS uh, thrown in. Um, so I really love that skin. I love the Peach and Lily skincare line. Um, the other uh, thing that I use, because my skin's been fairly dry, is the Honey Savior. No, Honey Save, yeah, Honey Savior mask, not mask. It's a, it's a balm. And it's just this cool little, there you go, nice little balm. And I just, you know, I just use this all over my face, really. You can use it on your cuticles, on your elbows. You can use it, you know, just all over your skin. Just press it in to lock in all that good moisture that you've put into your skin, you know, with your other products. And it is just so nice texture and it's just like locks in your moisture and it's really just great for your dry cuticles whatever little skin issue you have this one is, is a great little tube of good stuff um, it has 1.6 ounces of product and it is um, it says it has echinacea green envy honey in it, I guess, which is one of the common, like the common ingredient through a lot of the pharmacy products. I also have the cleansing balm, which I haven't used enough to be able to recommend it. I think I only used it one time. Um, but I, I like the that the products are very clean uh, in terms of their ingredients. And this is just very soothing, very nice balm. The other and final product that I have for you um, is the SPF that I use every day, all day, <laughs> without fail. Um, it is the Biore UV Rich, Aqu Biore UV Aqua Rich. Do, do, do. We sort of got a shot of it. It uh, says watery essence. <laughs> it says 2014. That's not the, um, the expiration date, but 
I guess from an Olympics or some kind of a war. It got no, we got a war. This is in a different language. I think it's in Korean. Um, I get these off of Amazon, by the way, and I think they're about twelve dollars a bottle, which is phenomenal for something that um, is just such a high quality SPF. And um, my bestie is a dermatologist. And she has drilled into me the importance of uh, using SPF every day, all day, um, without exception. Um, and so this is something that I would have on my face every single day. And at 50 years old, on a no makeup day, um, it's not doing too badly. Um, but SPF will save your life. It will save your skin and it could save your life, to be really honest. Um, had a lot of issues with... Um, my husband, who is very, very fair um, and blue-eyed, you know, has had a lot of, you know, precancerous issues, you know, with sun exposure here in Florida and not using adequate SPF and you always have to stay on top of him and, you know, try to get him uh, interested in sunscreen. So I bought a million different sunscreens for him. You know, he's like, oh, it burns my eyes. Oh, it... You know, so it's, I have to get something that's as convenient as possible to try to make this very resistant man actually pick up a bottle of SPF and use it on his skin rather than, you know, risk getting some skin cancer. Um, so the, the quest continues, but um, he also enjoys uh, this one and another prescription one that um, my girlfriend has uh, provided for him. So... Um, that's what I have on my face today when it's acting up and I can't put a stitch of makeup or anything artificial on my face and my skin is just like, woo, I gotta be free. These are the products that I use and I hope um, that one or all of them will be helpful to you and when you have some breakout or you're having some sensitivity issues, I have lots of strategies for that because I have had eczema all my life and you know, I've had some really horrible, you know, I used to have it around my mouth when I was little and thank God I grew out of that. But, um, you know, I have a lot of strategies that I employ uh, to make sure that um, I can minimize the, the problems and the, you know, the damage that occurs as a result of, you know, all those, those, that inflammation and outbreaks on the skin. So I hope these products helped you. Uh, they certainly have helped me. And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate your support.